How do you overcome procrastination? You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. You are supposed to complete a task. For some reason, you can't seem to get started. You could have lost interest. You may have a strong dislike for it. You may not see any point in doing it. You may not be sure if that's what you truly want to do. You could be overwhelmed by how challenging it is. You may have unrealistic expectations of the outcome. Expectations beyond your capability. You may be fearful of failure. Or you could just be plain lazy. There are countless reasons for procrastination. But there is a common denominator. It's almost always a task that needs your immediate or urgent attention that you procrastinate. It's almost always something that you have to do whether or not you like it. Based on this assumption, I'm going to suggest three effective ways to overcome procrastination. Firstly, incentivize your task. Do it together with something you love doing. For instance, make yourself that favorite cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. Work on your task for as long as you take to finish your treat. Who knows, you may wish to do more even after finishing your drink. For just a little longer, you may decide to work. The hot chocolate is a small motivation. It will get you started on what you've been delaying. As you may already know, the starting point is the most challenging to get through. Whenever you schedule that task, couple it with something, anything that you love doing. You could go out for a walk by the lake, watch your favorite show, catch up with a friend. You could post something witty and creative on social media if you're active on that platform. It will help if you share how you feel with like-minded people. You could motivate them or they could motivate you by sharing their experiences. If your task is a household chore, listen to that playlist that perks you up instantly while doing your work. Do something, anything, that encourages your creativity. Something that you enjoy doing. You're actually associating that dreaded task with positive feelings and actions. Each time you couple your task with something that's positive, you will feel more and more motivated to complete it. Follow through with this coupling effect. To make it more interesting, pair your task with a different activity or action every time you work on it. Do this until you complete your task and know that you will complete your task. Get your coupling right and you will be on point with your task. Keep in mind, we are talking about a task that must be accomplished, whether or not you like it. Your second option, spend not more than 20 minutes at a time on that particular task, three times a day. This may seem pointless. You may be skeptical about how much you could possibly accomplish in just 20 minutes. You have to understand, 
that to complete your job, you've got to first get started. You've got to get going. It'll be a great start if you can get a small fraction of the job done in the first 20 minutes. You will soon extend the 20 minutes little by little, day by day. Why? Because you will realize that it's not that much of a task after all. The more you do it, the more confident you will become of completing it. The initial 20 minutes is just to prove to yourself that you can actually do more because you want to do more. Because it's not as challenging as you thought it was. Be sure not to spend too much time on it at one go. You risk getting stuck or even losing interest. When you break your task into small chunks and spread it throughout your day, twice or thrice a day, you minimize the possibility of getting bored. Do this consistently and in no time you will complete your job. Your third option, if all else fails, Get some form of assistance, be it help from someone or help in the form of resources. Be realistic in your expectations about the time you need to complete your task. Be absolutely honest with yourself about the extent of help you need. Keep in mind, perfection is a myth. Resourcefulness, that's a skill. Be resourceful. Find ways to make your task simpler. Get the tools that will enable you to complete your task without unnecessary delays. Make things easier for yourself. And it will be easier for you to overcome procrastination. Always keep in mind, continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection.